this video the issue with all lies matter explained okay let's let's listen to this monstrosity I already know it'll be a train wreck of a video right Heidi says can anyone please tell me what this trend of thinking is all about when a person can't say all lives matter all lives do matter don't they well Heidi of course all lives are supposed to matter and given that very truth that also means black lives matter but I have to tell you, it certainly doesn't feel that way. I've worked hard to get here. I went to good schools, got good grades, tried to do good in the world, never been arrested. But it's scary when I read headlines like this in a major newspaper. Getting killed by police, a leading cause of death for young black men in America. I'm 34 years old and it doesn't feel like all lives matter when I know I've spent my entire life smiling and doing everything I can to somehow account for the fact that I'm a dark-skinned black male. To make people feel at ease that I'm not a threat. It doesn't feel like all lives matter when folks who look like me are 2.5 times more likely to be killed by police than white people, according to a study conducted by Rutgers University School of Criminal Justice doesn't feel like all lives matter when a man who looks like me can be killed by police over 20 bucks nigga hold on this is what i gotta say about it. nigga fuck you fuck you you fucking so you uh, oh but oh, wait a minute wait a minute wait, wait, whoa whoa wait a minute now so yeah you don't feel like all lives matter right well <laughs> you can find the love of your life that's white I bet she gonna say all lives matter then. <clears throat> oh, okay, that was a burp. Um, so a study conducted by something finds out black people are 2.5 times more likely to die from a cop. Um, yeah, where's the proof at? And, well, and you already know, when likes and comments are disabled, this video received a lot of backlash. Now, um, you don't, this, this, this guy's a walking stereotype. He's a walking fucking stereotype. You're being racist by saying you don't feel like all lives matter. That's being racist, period. I don't give a fuck. You're basically saying Canadian lives don't matter, white lives don't matter, Mexican lives don't matter, African lives don't matter, European lives don't matter, Russian lives don't matter, uh, fucking uh, Alaskan lives. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, seriously. All lives don't matter. I don't feel like all lives. Nah, shut the fuck up. You're a walking stereotype. Um... I don't feel like your life matters. How about that? I don't feel like your life matters. I, I really don't. Um, since you want to say all lives don't matter. Yeah, bullshit. Um, um, if all lives don't matter, then uh, you can th you can you can say basically you can what you know the car you're driving. You could think of uh, Henry Ford for that, even though it's probably Honda or something. Henry, Henry Ford is the one that's the reason why cars are the way cars are now. If all lives don't matter, you're basically saying your mayor's lives don't matter. Because more than likely your mayor is white, okay? Because there's only a few black mayors of cities. You're basically saying your governor doesn't matter. Because I'm, pretty, I'm damn sure your state governor is white. I'm damn sure of that. And you're basically saying, um, Joe Biden, the president, you're probably going to vote for. Now, I'm talking about this black guy. The president, you're probably going to vote for because you're a Democrat, maybe. Um, you know, personally, I'm not a Democrat nor Republican. I don't vote, I don't, want, I don't like either of them. They both cause a lot of problems. But this guy more than likely is going to vote for Joe Biden uh, because, you know, stereotypes. Um, so you're basically saying Joe Biden's life do, do not matter. Your future president, hopefully not. Um... You know, I like I like Bernie Sanders, but you know, let's not get too political. Um, you know, this guy's a fucking hypocrite. Let's listen to the rest of what this fucking twat has to say. It's beyond disturbing. Please, please, I can't breathe. Please, man, please. Oh, and um, um, newsflash. George Ford is not a good guy. He held a gun up to a pregnant woman and while the house was being robbed. So, yeah, he's not a good person. Fuck George Ford. He's a piece of shit. 
It doesn't feel like all lives matter when a plea for help is ignored, ignored by the very people. Hey, show the black cop killing the white cop then. I mean the white boy. Show the black cop killing the white boy. I bet you won't do that, bitch. Sworn to protect and serve. And the sad thing is, this is not the first time this has happened. Practically every year it happens again. And so people. And practically every year a, a, a white boy gets killed by a black cop too, so fuck you. But that doesn't make national headlines. People from all walks of life and all races and backgrounds have joined a movement to remind folks black lives matter. Responding to that crisis. Uh, well, according to Detroit, Michigan, Baltimore, Maryland, Memphis, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, St. Louis, Missouri, Jackson, Mississippi, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and other states, uh, these other cities, uh, Brooklyn, New York, black lives do not matter because there won't be black on black crimes every day. Cry for justice, that cry for equality with all lives matter is like saying, Things are already equal. Things are already just. And we know that ain't true. Sure, we've come a long way. I'm here tonight all the way from Birmingham, Alabama, once known as Birmingham. Oh, and Birmingham, Alabama. Who would have fucking known? Birmingham, Alabama. Out of all the cities this nigga could have been in, it's Birmingham, Alabama. Not surprised. Because of the many people who stood up and cried and prayed and marched for a better day. Oh, and Martin Luther King was the one basically saying all lives matter. He was supporting white and black people, you little dumb fuck. So don't try to say nothing about Martin Luther King, you little dumbass, even though he didn't say it. Don't try to say what Martin Luther King would have done to shave you saying black lives matter. No, because you're basically saying, you're used to say fuck what Martin Luther King said. You know, Martin Luther King's the one that was saying all lives matter. He wanted to get black and white people together. This is some Malcolm X shit. Black Lives Matter. This is some Malcolm X shit. No, but Martin Luther King was the peaceful guy. Okay. Well, guess what? The march toward better continues in communities all across this country with one simple message. Black Lives Matter. Hip -hop. No, black lives do not matter, actually. Um, so this little I flat was... right here. I mean, look at this guy. Look, what's going on with his fucking hair? He has a receding hairline at 34. Okay, let me stop. But, fuck this dude. Seriously, fuck this dude. I know this video will get throttled in the YouTube algorithm. I don't give a fuck. Fuck this guy. Seriously. He is a walking stereotype. According to every predominantly black city, Oakland, California, Birmingham, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, Detroit, Michigan, St. Louis, Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri, Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, fucking, um, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, um, Atlanta, Georgia, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi, um, um, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, fucking, um, which you call that other place? Uh, oh, Cleveland, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Toledo, Ohio. Kalamazoo, Michigan, Flint, Michigan, all those cities are saying black lives do not matter because there won't be black on black crimes. Now, all those cities are predominantly black and they are some of the worst cities in America. I'm done.